Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be telling you the exact reasons for my new long trade that I have opened here, the exact targets that I have and how to be prepared to make profits along with we, along with we, along with me once more. Of course, I'm coming into this video with great confidence, great positivity uh, because, you know, if you've been following along the past few months, my trading results are through the roof, really on fire right now, giving some really nice comments. Cool. So uh, yeah, my mission of this video is just to prepare you in a simplistic way, uh, explaining the next levels, why I'm in this new long trade and what to be looking for next. So yeah, please just uh, allow me to help you. I truly want to do that. And to do that, you know, the best way you can do is just pay close attention, really listen to the insights and knowledge that I'm going to be sharing with you. And, you know, I'm prepared. Now let me prepare you too for what's to come. So um, picking up where I left off yesterday's video, yesterday's video wasn't so much a technical analysis per se, but we were looking at altcoins and, you know, briefly looked at BTC and Ethereum, right? And Ethereum at the time trading are just, you know, just above 2,100. And I was, and I was explaining to you, you know, you do not buy right up at the top of these moves. Although we are bullish overall looking for higher, you've got to wait for the pullbacks. You've got to wait for moves to the downside. You cannot be FOMOing long into resistance, okay? You've got to wait for these pullbacks, okay? The retracements, you buy the retracements and then look for the higher price targets. And yesterday we got it. We got a really nice retracement like this. And this is what I want to be preparing you for psychologically and emotionally. How prepared are you to buy when the chart looks like this? This is what it looks like live in the time. This is, you know, this is a pullback that you're getting. Okay. How prepared are you to buy that with confidence in your technical analysis? Well, my, I myself am very confident and also not just, you know, to trade it myself, but also to tell my team. So as we were getting that major pullback, I'm telling my team, this is a buying opportunity on Bitcoin. When a dip comes in an uptrend, I do not look to short support in fear, but I buy it with confidence. This for me is the buying opportunity. This is the dip that I've been looking for. And, you know, then ended up going to sleep with a nice, clear, easy update to end the week. Long trade for me. Zero shorts open, remain bullish, higher prices to come. This is what we look for, you know, as I'm as I'm heading to sleep. Okay, so we'd seen the large move to the downside, slight consolidation. Okay, and of course we're waking up to this, which is now a two percent rise already to the upside, and you know that just really I want to just emphasize the importance of having that trading plan in place, recognizing the technical levels. If we just add on a few that we have here new, uh, you know, recognizing the technical level levels, being able to ladder into positions and recognizing that zone of support. That way, when you get these large moves to the downside, instead of being fearful, scared, worried, um, you know, doubting your technical analysis, you know, you're not, even if you are doubting, if you see me come in and say, this is the buying opportunity, you know, don't, sh sh don't short, but, uh, you know, buy it with confidence. I think that's probably going to aid your confidence. Let's, let's hope that's the case. And I already know, actually, because I've already seen people waking up this morning in profits alongside me. So that's nice. Um, but that, of course, people outside the group, we can just take a look at what a lot of people were doing down here. And you can actually see in this screen, which is looking at the order flow, as we were hitting below 30K yesterday, that wick down below, you saw 10 million shorts open. This is on the Bybit chart. And just look at the amount of shorts that were opening down here. Here you see almost 10 million. Here we see this is closing on the declines of open interest. But here on the increase in open interest, once again, 46 million candle with 10 million negative Oh, um, Delta, this is just shorts going absolutely crazy. New shorts opening at the low. Those are the people that are shorting out of fear. They're opening new shorts at the bottom. It's just really, really crazy thing to be doing. And you know, you don't want to be getting into those fearful shorts. You want to be, in my opinion, anyway, buying it with confidence. And if you did do that, you're waking up today to at least a 2% rise to the upside. Okay. So that's the new long that I took. It was getting in down and around the bottom here after that large decrease in price. Okay. And it's like on, on Ethereum, right? You wanted to get in some altcoins. Ethereum had like a 4% drop to the downside. 4% is a, is, a, is a decent pullback. And here now we are still ultimately within this sideways range, right? We've gone from low to high, low to high, low, back up to a bit of a failed auction, back down towards the low. And here we are back into around the point of control of the overall range. Okay. And 
I can show you one other thing. We, of course, we've just come off of this uh, AV wrap from the top. Okay, so we can clearly see it's just holding us down at the moment. Held down, held down, held down, held down, held down, and held down. Um, so we've got a local resistance here. But I, of course, am expecting this to break to the upside uh, to move towards our bit of a higher target, which will be coming into the NPC around the CC, right? So we can be aware of the CC to the NPC. And I'm looking at a harmonic at the moment. Of course, you all know how I love my harmonics. Uh, but to see that harmonic, I do need to see another rise to the upside. So yeah, personally, I didn't short any of this around 31K yesterday. And I haven't shorted this wick either. Uh, so, you know, uh, if I am wrong, okay, uh, if I am wrong, we will simply drop from here and I've missed the short, I've missed the shorts and I would have to say, hey team, uh, I finally ended that winning streak and I made a very bad call indeed. But as it stands, I still remain confident that we're going to be pushing up to at least the CC to the NPC where I can make my next informed decision because I have got a harmonic. And, um, you know, that, that would be my next, again, this is more day trade, local trade, short ideas, because of course, if we clear that, then we're looking back up to, you know, $32,000. So, you know, I'm going to be more than happy if that occurs, but still for me locally, this is uh, the next area of interest for potential short trades. And again, I always trade based off of the reaction. So I, I come in here, I will make an informed decision. How do I do that? Looking at things such as the order flow. Okay, so I'll be looking at the CVD, the volume, the delta, the open interest, right? If you are aware of my new templates, and you also know the HL candles, the time, the trade counts, these for me are all important factors when I'm you know, looking to make informed decisions. So it's not just we hit the level and I just randomly buy or sell. No, we hit the level. I will come in and I will look at the order flow to make a simple informed decision is this a reaction that i like is it not a reaction and i think this is uh really what's you know i want to say separates me from a you know even a you know an advanced trader to someone that consistently makes profits you know this realization that you can make informed decisions you don't just have to buy and sell off of hope or a set level you know you can see that level get hit let's say for example uh, the cc you know not every time I long the CC, right? So I will be aware of this level. And then when we come up to it, I'll make an informed decision. Is this a good reaction? Is it bad? If we go through it, then I'll be looking out to the MPC. And once again, if and when we hit that, no guarantee we hit it. I could be wrong and we don't even make a new high. But as long as I'm correct and we make this new high, well, when we hit that level, I'll make another informed decision, right? And from that, if we don't form another good reaction, then I'll be looking for a new high really simply above here, right? Well, then we could look for an overall swing failure pattern. Okay, so that would be swing failure pattern type territory where we just take out 31K again. Okay, and we have level more levels to the upside, but the theory remains the same, okay? My confidence is we'll be making a new high, okay? I did personally not short any of this zone, and let me explain to you why. In my opinion, this, again, there was potential short trades in here, but what I'm looking for is if I want to short, I want to be at least hedging some of my spot portfolio. So I'm looking for like multi-million, like large short position sizes. Okay. And so for me to take shorts up here with sides, it's not ideal scenario. The liquidity up here is fairly low. Okay. That's one thing that I personally have to remember. You again, know, my situations are different than anyone else, but you're here for some of my insights, right? So I'm trading with large, large, large capital. And so I do need to pair this with liquidity because if I'm just trying to enter limit orders, you know, it's just not going to get filled at times. Or if I'm entering with market orders, slippage is poor. So I need to wait for times of higher liquidity. And also for myself personally, I'm waiting for a much higher confluence. So if I'm just trying to enter large short positions up here where I'm saying to myself, well, the risk to reward is, is, is not great for me. The liquidity is not primed. I would prefer to you know, not short here simply, and I didn't do it, right? So then we got this large pullback. But now what is it, it's prime for is, in my opinion, a higher probability short based, again, well, based off of the reaction. But I've put myself in a position where I'd, I'd prefer to then wait for a retest, okay? Or, or we just go through the level as mentioned. But um, yeah, for me, the simple clear update that I want to give, right, simply, you know, also to my team, I'm giving these simple updates for now, not in a short from here. Didn't short this wick either. This hit the VWAP, if you don't know. So this simply hit the VWAP yesterday, but didn't short it. Why? Because I'm expecting higher. Okay, if we get a pullback before higher, that's absolutely fine as well. So 
If we pull back to the daily, that's still absolutely acceptable down to around this 29,500 zone, right? We can still have that higher target. So of course, I could be wrong as mentioned. If I'm wrong, I'll hold up my hands and say to you, I apologize. You know, I, um, I've traded my analysis and, you know, I myself would be losing on this if I am wrong. So, you know, I'm putting myself in this position, always putting, you know, my money where my mouth is. I'm taking these trades. And if I'm wrong, you know, I'm also going to lose. So, uh, my analysis would be if we pull back again, I'm happy to continue to buy the dip. As long as we then move up towards my hit, higher target, I'll still be absolutely fine. Uh, if we do fully drop from here and we just fall off the face of a cliff and, and fall down, I would have not shorted the high. I would have not shorted the secondary retest here because this retest has not hit anything that for me, you know, that signifies a, an acceptable short. So once again, let me explain to summarize and make it extremely clear. Fibonacci from high to low currently, I'll be aware of this CC Fibonacci where I can look for the SFP of the previous day, um, you know, high off the VWAP here into the CC for the reaction. If we don't get that, I'll look towards the MPOC. This is where we're coming into that CC zone to the MPOC, really nice harmonic territory. Uh, if we blast through that or we just simply make a new high, I'll be looking for the, you know, of course that level then would be removed. I would be looking for a swing failure pattern of the overall high. This is a trade I'm always enjoying. And if we get through that, then we, of course, we have simply our daily levels above us moving on towards that 32,500 key, 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 key major level. Um, so for me, yeah, it's as simple as that. Uh, not in the shorts here. If we get a pullback, I'd still look to buy the dip uh, up to my take profit. So remember, if we move down here first, this CC is going to be changing positions. This is where it is locally, right? But if we do make a new low first, remember to adjust that CC Fibonacci level to wherever the price comes down to. That would be my first major take profit of the CC. And that is where I'd look to take that potential short trade. Okay. Um, FYI, that long trade that I took here has not hit a take profit one yet. I've not locked in a take profit one. Why? Because I am still expecting a new high to be made. Um, you know, I could have looked, locked it in off of the view app yesterday, but I didn't because <laughs> I'm expecting a little bit higher to come. So yeah, really simply here, uh, I am bullish. I am looking for higher. I've made my reasons hopefully clear enough in this video. Again, if you'd always like more in-depth, of course, I've given more in-depth, given more exact, precise information, levels, targets, harmonics, all of that inside of the Discord. And if you want access to this, you know, look at these swing trades, by the way, still long from 16K, still long from 1,100 on ETH. So, you know, if you want access to these type of ideas, more in-depth analysis, seeing the exact, exact plans, where well, you can get that from our Discord, which is available via chartchampions.com, right? That's where you have access to all of the education educational content, all the courses from beginner to master. Um, then you got also the journal, you got the cheat sheets, you got the vault, which includes all the cheat sheets and the templates. These are the new templates that I've released. You know, all work from the ground up. This is hours and hours and hours and hours of work. It's all been put into you, you know. Um, so yeah, please take advantage of this. If you're really taking this seriously, Chart Champions, the best place to be right now. It's like I was saying here, like, you know, putting in a lot of effort. Hopefully, yeah, it's not going or going unnoticed. But it's like you see here. Some some succumb to pressure. I'm thriving on it. I've made a big, simple change recently to be very clear, simple, easy to understand. You know, many do not give clear biases because they are too scared to be wrong. Confidence is high for myself. Profits are large. But I will always know the next trade could be the loser. So I will keep my risk management on point. That said, it does make me very happy to see so many people right now profiting alongside me. Let's keep up this momentum. Let's keep up these profits. And yeah, as it was last month, remaining the same. Still no short trades for me. Looking for higher and those higher levels, as mentioned, quite a few times in this video, but I will say it one more time to be very clear to you all. We got the MPOC, we got the CC above us, uh, not in any short positions here. I will happily take a short if we get a nice reaction off of these levels above us. Uh, but as it stands, yeah, I remain bullish, longing the dip, and you know, you're not going to see me getting scared uh, when that dip comes along, when I still got my un untapped higher targets. I'm buying it with confidence. And uh, yeah, nice to see people coming along in this morning with me and posting around their profits. So yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you. If you want to see more, you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com, leading in the space right now. Simple as that. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. That's me signing out. Goodbye. <laughs>